I'm John Hinkle, the senior pastor of First Presbyterian Church in downtown Murfreesboro on the corner of College and Spring. This is your Monday morning wake up call, which is really Tuesday at 1130 because the office was closed for Columbus Day. But here we are. I hope everyone had a great week. Uh, Leela and I really are grateful for the time we were able to get away. Uh, as some of you heard, we got called in that airline debacle and our flight got canceled on Saturday. And I'm so grateful for Joyce Merritt and her leadership. She, she was preaching anyway, but to, to, to kind of have the whole worship to herself, uh, I'm just grateful that she is part of our church staff. And so here we are. Uh, I, I, I will let you know, I feel kind of refreshed, ready to go, ready to finish out. Uh, uh, this October, and there are a couple things we want to highlight. First of all, because of uh, COVID and where we were when we started back in August, uh, we decided that we would not have Wonderful Wednesday this Wednesday, just to kind of see where the numbers are. Uh, hindsight being 2020, uh, it looks like we could have easily done and had a, a Wonderful Wednesday, but that's okay. Uh, we will be starting back up with Wonderful Wednesday next week and look forward to uh, seeing you all there. So again, no Wonderful Wednesday this Wednesday. Second thing you, I, we'd like to announce is we have had, uh, ever since the Good Friday tornadoes, uh, my first year here, we have had a very special relationship with the Presbyterian Disaster Assistance. Uh, as you remember, when the tornado hit, PDA was right here with us as we were helped our members in our community cleaning up. They wrote a check uh, to, to help with some of the financial stress and strain that uh, came with that cleanup. And we did some neat things with that. Uh, for some of our neighbors who lost trees, we used that fund to help plant new trees. Uh, and because PDA reached out to us ever since, we have been always uh, available to for uh, PDA. And so this Sunday, we will be collecting a special offering for the Pres Presbyterian's disaster assistance that will specifically kind of help focus our attention on the continued uh, flood relief and Waverly, but also the hurricane relief in uh, Louisiana and South Mississippi. Uh, so if you are wanting to give to the special offering, we hope everybody does. If you're writing an old fashioned check, simply put in the memo PDA and we will get it to the right account. We'll also set up a special online giving uh, uh, option. And so just go on to our church website, go on to online giving and then scroll and you'll find PDA and, and that's how you'll give to that fund. So please, uh, whatever you give will go directly to helping people in need. Third thing I know, you wanted it, you've got it, Fall Festival. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit different this year, but it's still gonna be Fall Festival. It's still gonna be a whole lot of fun. Please mark your calendars for this great event. Uh, and, uh, and one thing we always need are volunteers. So there's a special link. It'll be a link on Tidbits, but there'll also be a link uh, in the um, uh, church website. Uh, but if you want to help, we need your help. And uh, we can't do Fall Festival without our volunteers. And this is just, and it, it's volunteers of all ages. And most of the activities are going to be indoor, outdoors, excuse me, outdoors. So, uh, so that we got that going for us. We will have trunk or treat inside, but masks will be required. But we just know it's going to be a great event. If you've got any questions, give Bobby Harding a phone call, uh, and he'll be more than glad to not only sign you up to be a volunteer, but tell you uh, what what all is going to take place on that on that particular Wednesday. So that's it. That's all I got. Uh, still answering some emails. If you haven't heard back from me, uh, give me a few days, and I'll get back to you. I hope everybody has a great day and we'll talk to you soon.